Hello everyone, <clears throat> and welcome back to the server. Now you'll notice a lot has changed. Um, oh, there we go, now I can fly. So, honestly, I've been working at my job so much recently. Working on the server has kind of been my way to relax. And so I haven't really been recording because I wasn't in like a entertaining mood I was in a like I'm just going to sit here and place blocks for a couple hours so I don't explode mood so uh, let me just I'll take you through some changes and then um, I want to do some interior work today so we will do that we'll probably start with the changes all the way over here <coughs> um, we have a temple of light <coughs> and a temple of darkness uh, they are both related to vampirism on the server so the Temple of Light will cure, your, will cure you from vampirism. You just right-click on that Lapis Lazuli block with the correct items in your inventory. And over here... This is the Temple of Darkness in this little graveyard type thing. And uh, look, there's even a little bat NPC there to greet you since you know it's a vampire thing. And so you right click on that gold block with the correct items and it will give you the dark disease which will in turn eventually turn you into a vampire. Now the most work I've done is on this little village I'm getting set up because there will be quests. Um, sorry I had to get a drink. Oh I'm so parched Ugh, from working. Okay so um, there will be there will be quests so you know to get some of the um, first quests going we need to have a city now first there's not going to be anything massive um, the way the server is going to work is we're going to keep building cities as we go along and the cities will kinda of have their own little storyline and quests to them and I mean if you're really just into the survival aspects of Minecraft you can completely ignore it or you can feel free to uh, go ahead and indulge in it so here's this little house I built up and we have well, we have like a little NPC villager. Now I could make the NPCs whatever I want, including players. I just think it's the most fitting using villagers because that's just kind of what we're used to. Oh, you can see no holder assigned, and that's because I haven't given him quests and stuff yet. That's the quest thing is still a work in progress, but uh, it'll be ready pretty soon. So, like I said, I wanted to work on some interiors today. You know what? Um. Probably, uh, we'll probably work on this one. Thinking, mm hmm. Either this one or the poor house. Probably the poor house is a good choice. Okay, so this is like kind of the small hovel type house. Um, really, the reason I call it the poor house is because when I built the roof, I was doing some kind of experimental stuff, and um, basically, instead of making like a perfect roof like these ones have. I used a mixture of stairs and half slabs to make it look kind of like broken. I think it looked pretty cool. So I just kind of call it the poor house because it looks kind of run down compared to the other two. And it is the poor house. There's actually going to be a poor villager who lives in here. So I think we need to make it appropriately poor. Um, poor house is probably not the cleanest thing in the world. So we're going to want a cobweb. Why can't I? Oh, is my shift is my shift jammed? I hate when this happens. This is the worst thing ever. Nope, I fixed it. Yes, okay. So, like I said, poor houses probably aren't the most well kept of homes. So we'll just go ahead and put a couple of cobwebs around to show that it's not perfectly kept. Um, hmm. might add a little more. Maybe a little something to the floor. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and put a chest under here. And T slash loot link house chest. Okay, so there's also <clears throat> a looting plugin in the game. And so you can open these house chests and they will have loot in them. And for house chests, um, ones that say house chest up here, you have you can loot it every 10 hours, I believe, something like that. 
because you have nine more hours to wait, so maybe it's nine hours. But um, there's different chests in different places scattered around, and uh, you can get them from beating different quests or bosses and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but uh, you guys will figure that out as you play on the server. So let's see here. We're going to put a little chest down here. Um, let's see here. Uh, back, the, the rich guy had like a nice kitchen... So I feel like the poor guy is going to have like a, mm, right. So the poor guy is going to have kind of like just like a open fire with a kettle on top of it, basically. Okay, where are the stone steps? There they are. In fact, I can just put this here. Thank goodness there's no fire spread in this area, so I can completely do this with no worries. Um, that's too high. I'm probably going to want to have slabs if you ask me. Yes siree. So, uh, I think I think this is the appropriate time to be reciting stories from theater land. Ooh, I have to get rid of that. Sad face. Um, What? You're not supposed to catch on fire? What? Whoa, 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 fire? What? What are you? What? Okay, maybe, uh, maybe the fire spread being off doesn't work as well as I thought. Um, let's try to put it right here where it's like not directly on anything per se. Except it's still going to catch the floor on fire. Everything I know is a lie. Stop, stop. No, don't stop burning. No, I don't want the world to burn. Oh my, oh my, what? What, but, no, what? No, stop. Burg -a -durg -a -durg. So it's not actually burning. But the fire spread. It would be really funny just to leave the house like this and just wel welcome to death. <laughs> there is only sadness in this house. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Uh, okay. Let's. Uh, we're done. We're done decorating the house. Okay, let's uh, let's fix this really quickly. Okay, t slash slash expand twenty u t slash slash replace fire with zero. All the fire's gone. All of the fire's gone. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Well, let's not try that again, ever. It's a terrible idea. I don't know why you guys would let me do that. It's just, I mean, you could clearly tell that was destined to fail. Why wouldn't you say something? It's just rude to let me fail like that. So, uh, I know there's, uh, there's cauldrons around here somewhere. There they are. Instead, we'll just put a water cauldron down. I wish you could put lava in cauldrons. That'd be so cool. It'd make, like, a great light source. I wish you could put a sad face on the cauldron for memories of things lost. Okay. Um, and we'll put a furnace next to the cauldron. All right. And let's get some vines. Okay, so like I was saying, theater stories. Now, I, I'm not putting vines anymore. Oh, maybe I could, I could do like that, I guess. I don't, why would I put vines here? No one knows. Yeah, see, this is the problem with vines. They just go all the way, although it looks kind of cool. Whatevs. So, I was cleaning theaters the other day. Well, more specifically, I was sweeping the lobby areas. And so, I walked by this family, and they're, like, sitting there, and they're, like, talking to their son. And I'm like, okay, they're talking to their son in the middle of the lobby, and that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, and they were there for a while. So 
I end up coming back around like 15 minutes later and they're still talking to their son and they're I this time I hear what they're talking about it's so it's the son his mom and like three of his mom's brothers from what I could tell from the the, the way they were talking that is what I made them out to be, and um, so the conversation basically went like this, man, once you start heroin, there's no going back, Jimmy over here, you had to send him to a rehabilitation place, I mean, you, you tell him about it, Jimmy, yeah man, it's not a road you want to go down, it looks like fun, but, but you know it's not, anyone, anyone, even if it's your brother's, if they are trying to get you to do drugs, they ain't your friend. They ain't your friend. You hear me, boy? They are trying to hurt you. And I was like, what the heck? Okay, like, look, I, I want to be honest. It's a parenting thing. I get it. I get at some point you have to teach your kids that drug, that, like, you know, abuse of drugs is wrong. I, I understand. I get it. As a parent, it's completely your right to do that. And as an uncle... I guess, sure, why not? Just go ahead and jump in. But in the middle of a theater, and it wasn't even like they were the only ones there. It was like a really crowded Saturday where there's just, like, people walking all around them. And it's like they're in the middle of this theater with people all around them having this conversation. I'm like, well, that's that's kind of weird. But, um, I guess I can't really interrupt. I'm just going to, uh, like, let me put a freaking bit. What? <gasps> Oh, these are her slopes. Like, um, see, I always forget that I like can't place things normally on half slabs. I don't know. It just it messes with me. Um, you know, I might just go ahead and do this for the whole floor. I didn't think about that when building this. That the half slabs would be a pain in the bootay. So, you know. I figured I'd just let them do their thing and they'd be done and I could come back a little later and nothing would be awkward and everything would be fine in the world. So about 30 minutes later I come by and now they're not just having like a talk with this boy, they are having the talk. Like it is the birds and the bees all up in here and I was like are you serious? You, you're you having this conversation in the middle of a theater where everyone can hear you. This is, this is the, no, this is definitely the wrong place to be doing that. Like, could you imagine how terribly awkward it must have been for that boy? I just, why would you, what would make you think that that would be a good place to have, like, the conversation. I'm just, I, I don't understand people. Okay. I'm going to say this house looks sufficiently poor. Um, they have a cobbled together table. <laughs> I get it cobbled together. It's cobblestone. Oh, I'm so fine. It's a bun. I'm so creative. Okay. And they have a cauldron. And next to the cauldron, they have their kukuma fire. And in the kukuma fire, they have... You know, I wonder... This is going to sound really stupid, but can I link this as a... No, okay. It can only be chests and dispensers. I just wanted to see. I thought it would be kind of cool if I could randomly have loot appear in... Um, what are these? Furnaces? Those are furnaces, exactly. Alright, now I think I'm probably going to start working on this house. Um, this house is going to be like the merchant's house, I guess you could call it. Um, it's going to be business on the bottom floor and party in the top floor. Okay, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but, uh, you know, I think this video has ran on long enough and it is... Why is that one like that and that one's like that? Did I not change that one's A to my D? 
I must investigate what. Right, okay. Uh, that's all correct. I don't know. Okay. I'm not going to ask questions. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, it, it, this is really bugging me. I'm just going to fix that. Like I said, it's really late at night for me. So I think I want to call this an episode. Probably do a little work on the merchant's house. Try to figure out whether or not I want a small store on the bottom. Or whether I don't want a small store on the bottom. The the store wouldn't be the dynamic economy store. It would be slash broker buy. It would be a broker store. So the way this works is, um, let's see here. Slash broker sell. I think that's right. Um, oh, right, okay, so slash broker sell 20. So I do slash broker sell for 20, and then if I go slash broker buy, whoopsies, you can see there's a furnace here, and inside the furnace section is my furnace, and it will tell you that the price is 20 each, and I enter a quantity, so let's just say one, and uh, I can't afford one of those because I don't have any money. So uh, I'm slash broker cancel or cancel. No. Can I, not, can I, I can have spell. Is it sell cancel? Ah, oh, it's sell cancel. Okay. So then I can cancel a sell like that. And then I get it back and it's taking it out of the store. And what's really cool is if I get something I have multiple of, so let's get this pot and this pot and T slash lore name rar. Okay, so this one's named rar, this one's named flower pot, so T slash broker sell 50 slash broker sell 5, T slash broker buy. You'll notice you just see one flower pot here, but when you click on it, you see two flower pots, flower pot and rar. So this is a really neat like open market system for people to go ahead and trade items on. And I don't exactly know why I went off on a tangent about broker, but uh, that's the end of this episode. Thank you guys for watching and doodles.